most clients are, are concerned about in terms of their brain is like, what's my risk for dementia? Am I showing signs of dementia? What's my risk there? So for that, we can do a, a blood biomarker test to actually look at biomarker precursors for dementia and get a sense of risk for developing Alzheimer's 10, 20, 30 years down the road. So if we know that there's potential risk there, we can then do things to mitigate that. And then we also look at genetics. So genetics are involved in dementia and Alzheimer's. And so we're able to get a, a bunch of different genetics to see someone's risk there and then and they can do things to mitigate that risk. And as far as dementia, how much is hereditary and how much is lifestyle, in your opinion? It's a mixture of both. I can say it's part of it is hereditary, specifically the ApoE4 genotype that's more commonly thrown out there. So if you have ApoE4, specifically if you have two copies, much, much higher risk developing dementia, you're not guaranteed to develop it. So there's still lifestyle things that contribute. 